So what is it like being a YouTuber in medicine? Today, I wanna to go ahead and give you a behind the scenes look on everything that goes into making this content for you. Let's get into it. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today, we're gonna to do something completely different. I'm actually gonna take you behind the scenes of what it's like creating these videos for you. I've been on YouTube now, I think almost three years, which is crazy. I started, I think, February back in 2017. Um, so we're in 2020 as I'm making this video. So a lot has changed on how I make videos, the equipment, that I use, the process that I go through, and I'm still learning, still improving with y'all's feedback. But I still wanted to make this video to share kind of what goes into the entire process. And either if you're interested or if you are doing YouTube, if you wanna learn more about kind of my setup, the equipment that I'm using, my workflow, hopefully this video also helps you out. So before we get into it, if you do enjoy this video, help your brother out, help the YouTube channel out, and this video get more in the YouTube algorithm, but go ahead and smashing that like button and subscribing. And then just in case you forgot to hit the like button, go ahead and go ahead and do it again. But let's get into it. All right guys, so let's talk about the different equipment that I use and I just want to share the beauty that is the setup. That's actually been pretty new that I've uh, created within I would say the last couple of months. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and get into the camera in a second. But I have this nice desk setup where I have a nice monitor, um, a monitor pole kind of setup which has a light as well as a tripod attached into it. Um, and all of this will be linked down below and that way I can go ahead and just kind of have a camera with a monitor that's ready to hit record. All of this is on my desk. In addition, I also have a boom Mic, which I'm trying not to touch because that's the audio that I'm getting right now um, that I can get kind of nicely just fold um, behind the desk and kind of gets away the rest of this is kind of in the background so it doesn't get in my way and then I have the monitor as well as the laptop so let's get into the individual so first off we have the prize possession so this is the Sony a7 III um, a newer camera that I've had before I've actually used if you guys can see I'm recording on my cell phone so this is my OnePlus 6 that I've been recording on prior to using this camera for about the last um, two years and now I've switched over to this because this kind of sits on my desk um, and then on it um, I have um, a 25 or excuse me a 28 70 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6 lens which is able to give me a nice kind of uh, widescreen um, of where I sit as well as kind of blurs the background so um, this is a camera excuse me a lens that my wife had before and then the camera is something that we recently bought um, so the camera comes with a monitor um, which helps me see because unfortunately we don't have a selfie camera with the Sony a7 III's uh, but the camera does an amazing job particularly with the autofocus um, and then getting into the audio so this is a boom mic that I I uh, recently purchased towards the end of 2019. Um, I was getting a lot of feedback of how my audio quality, especially through um, the phone, wasn't so ideal. So I'll link this boom mic, um, which is a little bit cheaper than some of the road mics that uh, most people are using, but I feel like it gives me uh, pretty good quality audio. And then the cables of every kind of piece of equipment is kind of just nicely put in the back. That way it's kind of has one local power supply. And one thing I did forget is that obviously the camera is connected to the monitor, but I also have a micro USB cable kind of making sure the camera is charged at all times. It's the worst thing is when you're about to record and then you need to charge your battery. Now moving further into the desk setup, as I mentioned, this is kind of a monitor stand that's kind of made into a makeshift kind of tripod studio. Um, so uh, I will link down below to the video that kind of inspired this as well as the different equipment that I'm using here. Um, it's not the cleanest setup, but that's because my desk is kind of relatively small, um, but it still is able to do the job quite nicely. Um, but in addition, I bought a different kind of light that I use in case I'm recording early hours in the morning and there's a nice window here, but sometimes obviously light's not um, kind of uh, available. So as you guys can see, nice light. It comes with a remote so I can change um, the color tone of the, the light if necessary. And it kind of nicely just folds away, so it's not really in the way. And then the last couple of things of my equipment. So I have a nice HP monitor that my wife and I recently bought off of Amazon because it's on discount. The nice thing is this monitor actually turns. Um, so if you're ever editing videos or uh, photos, you can actually use two different monitors. I have a webcam up there, um, and then I have kind of a desk um, USB microphone that I use as well um, that is helpful, especially if I'm recording a bunch of training. And then last but not least, honestly not the least, this is by far my favorite machine. This is my baby, my prized possession. Uh, this is my HP Spectre um, laptop, 13 inches, touchscreen. It's a two-in-one, so it folds. Um, and it is so powerful, so quick. I used to buy budget laptops all the time and then finally I invested the money to get a nice laptop and this thing is something that's gonna definitely be able to last me uh, a quite a bit of time. But I'm able to do a lot of things for YouTube, um, the MD Journey, as well as things for residency and med school on this laptop as well. So last few things that I have on my desk that are really useful are this kind of HDMI adapter into USB-C. 
um, is how my laptop works. But basically I have an adapter that has uh, USB ports as well as an SD card reader. So I can basically take off the SD card, put it in here, and then get it ready to be uploaded onto Google Drive for my team. Um, and then on my desk I have kind of my favorite headphones. So these are the Bose, uh, which I'll link down below. Um, super amazing for noise canceling, but what I also use them for is I kind of have uh, an external wire. So I know this setup looks a little bit messy, um, but it works really well because I have this external wire that I can connect um, to these wireless um, headphones and basically listen to what the audio quality is like. And I'm actually happy that I have that set up because I do it before recording every video. And I, in fact, in this video, I had switched my microphone and um, headphone jack, so the quality would have been total crap. Um, so it's nice to kind of have that, do a quick audio check, and then I can take them off, put them to the side at the edge of the desk, and then start recording. But that basically breaks down the different equipment that I use. Um, so again, those will be linked down below, but let's get into how I make the rest of the videos. <laughs> so that basically breaks down the different equipment that I use. I wanna make sure you guys keep in mind, this is not equipment that I started with on day one. In fact, I went through my first couple of years of YouTube just recording on my cell phone. The quality was good enough for me to go ahead and get the content, grow an audience, and eventually I realized that I needed to improve on things such as my audio, Audio, eventually my video quality, lighting, and things of that sort. So again, things that I've basically acquired over time as I realized that they would help um, improve how my videos were done. So the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of my workflow of how I go from idea to creation. You guys kind of saw the equipment, but basically number one is coming up with ideas. And this for me honestly is not very hard. I think of all the different struggles that I had through med school, um, and I also think about all the different topics that you guys are asking me to make. So I have a running list. And for right now, I've been using Notion as my app of choice to go ahead and kind of keep a running list of all the videos that I either wanna make or in the process of being made. It's actually inspired by a recent video made by Thomas Frank, where he kind of talks about how he uses Notion specifically for his YouTube channel and it's just insane the level of kind of complexity as well as simplicity that's involved in using Notion to help his YouTube channel grow and make sure the videos are kind of being made uh, with high quality. So I'll make sure to link Thomas's video down below in the description but I basically use Notion on my laptop as well as my phone to kind of keep a running list of any ideas I have. It may be inspired from a comment that you guys put on YouTube, an Instagram uh, DM um, or an email or just something that I realize in my day-to-day -day life this would be nice to share in case somebody's one day in my situation. Now the next thing for me is obviously to do the recording. Now this part actually it requires the most amount of creativity and flexibility on my part because my schedule is just kind of unpredictable as a physician in residency and training. Often my days will start as early as five o'clock, they'll end as late as seven to 9 p.m. And so it's not always a set day of the week that I'll record. In fact, I'll look into my schedule and I'll find an afternoon off, a morning that I wake up a little bit early and basically say, can I sit down and record one to two videos? It usually takes me about 30 minutes to go ahead and first into Notion pick a video topic that I'm interested in releasing to you guys. And then usually my videos are in the form of tips, like one, two to five, et cetera, or it's kind of a step-by-step -step approach. And so I'll go ahead and outline it. I'm not somebody who really likes to use a script. Maybe I will in the future, but for now, I really just like to create a bullet point on Notion of different topics that I wanna share. Um, and that way, if I kind of lose my track of thought, then I can go ahead and quickly refer and then get back to recording. But then when it's time to record, I go ahead and just sit down and then act like I'm talking to a friend about this topic using that line that I've created. and usually I can get a recording done in about 20 minutes because I often make mistakes as my editor knows. And then ideally in one sitting, I can go ahead and knock out about two to three videos depending on the complexity that's involved in making them. And that's why I love the setup that I've created for my desk where it's just a nice, easy for you where I can just go ahead and click and hit record, have the mic ready, have my laptop ready to go ahead and transfer the files once they have been recorded. And so the next step is getting into the editing, processing, and eventually publishing. So the next part is the, basically the final production. So that includes the editing, the thumbnails, and then the uploading of the video. And this is something that I used to do all by myself uh, when I first started YouTube for the first couple of years, actually. But as my schedule has gotten kind of busier over the last few years, I go ahead and now instead use my team to help me with the final productions. And then basically I will go ahead and take this raw footage and upload it in Google Drive on my computer. And then have my team kind of take over from there. So they'll go ahead and take over the editing as well as the uploading for YouTube on the due date that I gave them. And this basically helps to make it easier for me to go ahead and use my limited time to go ahead and just sit down, look at my ideas, start recording, help you guys on your medical journey, or if you're just watching this to be a YouTuber one day, hopefully this helps you as well. But that guys basically is my YouTube workflow, the equipment that I use, how I create the ideas, and how I get the final production to you guys. So if you somehow have made it to the end of this video and you have not hit that like button, 
help a brother out and go ahead and smash it once, twice, three times, just in case the button's broken. Um, and go ahead and also consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this one, as well as getting back into the medical advice content that we do on a weekly basis. If you guys are interested in the different resources as well as equipment that I mentioned in the video, those will also be linked down below. But as always guys, thank you, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and watching and being a part of this channel. Um, and if you enjoy this different twist um, into the content, then make sure you go ahead and just let me know in the description down below. Follow your boy on Instagram to get more daily advice. Just kind of follow my day in the life of a doctor. But I'm gonna stop babbling because that's usually what I end up doing around this time in the video. So make sure, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys soon.